Michelle friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little tiny hat. It actually is a cover for an EOS. It's a little cozy. Super cute if you wanted to make a bunch of um, little favors or put on people's desks or anything for students or a bunch of friends and you want to make something really quick, these crochet up really fast and just put the little EOS right inside. And they're just adorable. Aren't they cute? Alright, so let's get started. Gonna need a four weight yarn and I'm using some fuzzy white too. This one's really fuzzy. I don't remember what this is because I lost the band a while ago. This is almost gone. But this is a Karen Simply Soft Autumn Red right here. And I need a four and a five to make this little guy. So here's my four. This is one of my favorite hooks. This is my my furls and it's ebony and it's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna use that first. Alrighty, to get this going, start with the magic circle. Just hold, cross, go under the first one, grab the yarn, and pull through. Boom. All done. And I don't like to tighten this, the magic circle until I'm probably a couple of rounds in, especially when we're working something this tiny. This is really really awkward at the very beginning because we only have a few stitches, but soon it is going to start to look like a hat very quickly. So we want to put three single crochets in our magic circle, and I love my stitch markers. Mark that first stitch. It's really easy to lose this one. And there's number two in my magic ring, and there's number three. Can tighten it up a little bit but not all the way. Not quite yet. So it's marked. So I'm going to take my marker out but I know exactly where I'm going. Right here. Now for round two. See that was round one. Isn't that crazy? Round two we're going to put two single crochets in each one of the three stitches that we just put in the magic ring. So there's my first one and I'm going to mark it as well since this is such a tiny piece. There's the first one. See how tiny this is? It's going to work up pretty fast. And there's the second one in the first stitch. Stitch number two, or three, and stitch number four. And in our last stitch, it gets two single crochets as well. So one and two. Now we have a total of six. That was round two already. Crazy. And in round three, just do one single crochet in each one of them. So another six all the way around. I'm going to mark it so it's still easy to find. There's one. two, three, four, five, and there's the last one, six. So you just have a little blob right now. It's nothing fancy quite yet, but it's going to very, very soon look like a hat, I promise. Alright, my next round we're just going to increase a little bit. So the first one is a single crochet and I'm going to mark it. And then our increase is going to be the next stitch gets two single crochets. I'm going to try to pop this out. So it's starting to look like a tiny hat. So the first stitch got one single crochet the next one is going to be the increase, so we're going to put two single crochets in this stitch. We're going to increase up to nine from six. There's three. This guy gets a single. One single crochet. This one gets two. And one. And two. 
now we just increased up to nine. And it's starting to look like a little hat. I'm going to pull on this now. All right, now I tightened up my ring a little bit better. Though it looks like a little hat. Starting to get there. Okay, we're going to increase from 9 up to 18. So we're going to increase one more time. And the way to do that is two single crochets in each stitch from that round. So we're going to increase up to 18. This is a big jump. One, two. And go with two single crochets in each stitch all the way around to the stitch marker. And there's the last stitch. Looking like a little hat. Alright, we're going to increase one more time. Increase from 18 to 27. So the way that we do that is a single crochet in the first stitch. And I'm going to mark it. And then two single crochets in the next. So we're going from 18 to 27. So keep that pattern going. There's a single crochet and then in this stitch gets two. All the way around back to the stitch marker. One single crochet and the stitch gets two. One and two. And there's our increase back up to 27. It's taking shape already. It goes so quick. You can sit down in front of a movie or in front of a show and make a half dozen of these in no time. And right, then the next four rows is just a single crochet all the way around. So I have my clicker because I'm a clicker person. I like to keep track especially if I'm talking. So it's just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So 27 all the way around for the next four rows. So here's my first one. I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to make four rows of 27. So here we go. I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. The first round. round of 27. Click. And there's the last stitch in the third round of 27. Click. I'll do one more round of 27. And then it'll change just a little bit. And here are the last few stitches of my fourth round of 27 single crochets. There's number 27, and that was my fourth round. See? Looks like a little hat. Isn't that cute? Only have a few rows left, which or a few rounds left, which is just just crazy how fast this guy goes. Mark him as four. So that was our last round of the 27. Now we are going to decrease just a little bit so it can fit snugly around your little EO slip balm. So this one we're going to decrease from 27 down to 24. It's just a very slight decrease. So to do that, we've got there's our first single crochet, and I'm going to mark it. 
we're going to do seven single crochets and then we're going to do a single crochet two together. So there was the first one, there's two, three, four, five, six, and seven single crochets. And now these two we're going to single crochet these two together right here. So we're going to go in, pull through, and in, and pull through, three loops on our hook all the way through. So we just reduce that tiny bit right there. And now we're going to do that again. So seven single crochets. And then these two get stitched together, in and over, in and over, pull through three. One more time and then we'll be back to the stitch marker. Six and seven. We have two left and those are going to be stitched together. So in and in, three loops on the hook all the way over. There you go. He's getting to be super cute. One more round of a very slight decrease. I'm going to take this from 24 down to 21, so another tiny decrease. But it is enough to notice when you only have 27 stitches in the first place. So here's our first stitch. Mark him. Remember this time we're going to do six single crochets and then we're going to reduce with the single crochet two together. So this time it's six instead of seven. So the first one is marked. There's two. Let's see. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. And now these two are going to be stitched together. So two in and in. We have three loops on our hook all the way through. Those two just got stitched together. So we're going to do that again. Here's the first six crochet, single crochets. Six. And then these two are going to get stitched together. And one more time. and six, see, and six. Two stitches left, those get single crocheted together. So in and in, three loops on the hook all the way through. There we go, he's so cute. Almost done. So now it's time to get out the white fuzzy stuff. If you wanted to keep going with this, you could still have a brim that would look like this. And be just like a normal, normal making a normal hat. I'm going to make a brim right here, but I'm going to make it like this guy. I'm going to make a little, little white one. So I just need, I'm going to set my red aside and I need my white. All right, so here we're going to attach our yarn. Just pull the white through, tighten that up a little bit, and then we're going to chain five with our five millimeter hook. There's four and there's five. We're going to turn our work over here to the back bumps. We've got one, two, three, four. We want to work in those back bumps, four single crochets back down our chain so we can get back to the hat. Work those in the back bumps. Leave you with a nice edge. Right now we're back to the we're back to the hat. So we're going to do two slip stitches with the white. Just go a slip and a slip, and turn our work. 
and now we're going to skip over these two slip stitches that we just did and get back to these four real crochet uh, the four single crochets that we did before and we're going to work in their back loops only single crochet in the back loop only for all four of those previous single crochet stitches just like if you're making a brim a ribbed brim on any other beanie we're doing the exact same thing it's just really really small so chain one turn your work and back loop only single crochets all the way down which is just four stitches get back down to the hat now we're back to the hat so it's two slip stitches turn your work skip the two slip stitches right here and work in the back loops only of the four single crochets from the previous row chain one turn your work four single crochets in the back loops only now that we're back to the hat it's two slips again you can see the theme there all the way around the hat will be exactly the same there we go now all we have to do is connect these two parts of the brim so what we're going to do to do that go through the first stitch all the way and in the other stitch on the other side back loop only and do a slip stitch again through this whole stitch and the corresponding one on the other side is the back loop only and a slip stitch through the first stitch and the back loop only of the opposite side and there's one more this one's a little trickier but there's our stitch and there's the back I just finish this off. I have my scissors. So the only other thing that you can do to this other than weaving in the ends and tying off knots, I do that really fast so that I can move all my yarns out of the way and you can see this little guy. All we have to do is weave in ends. And he is totally ready to go. Unless you want to put a little pom pom on top, you can make a little poof of any kind. Or you can leave it plain, like this one is plain. It's just cute, looks like a candy cane. This one is plain. This is the exact same pattern. One has a poof and one doesn't. it sits right there but there you go they're absolutely adorable really really fast to crochet up fits right over the top of an eos or lots of other kinds too or it probably would fit your barbie if your little girl has barbies hope you enjoyed my little pattern this is really fast so you can sit down and watch a movie and make a half dozen of these really quick. But thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my channel and my small business. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.